y'all jumping right into this video I decided I didn't want to do a voiceover because I feel like I need to talk to y'all it's been a minute if you are new here welcome now's a great time to subscribe I feel like I'm talking to myself because I'm looking in the mirror y'all are there what's up today's video is in collaboration with rpg show if you guys don't know they are one of the og hair companies have been around for years definitely 10 out of 10 when it comes to packaging if you don't know if you can't tell one of my favorite shades <laughs> is definitely black so it is a timeless you already know i'm gonna quickly go through the packaging just kind of show you what comes inside of the box and then of course we will get right into the tutorial you guys can see super matte super sturdy so you don't have to worry about getting a uh, box that is going to be all mushed up damaged in transit 10 out of 10 it's coming to you just like this all right so we keeping it simple as you guys can see this is the box and then of course once you open it up you actually get a ton of goodies so one of the first things that I actually see in the box is the edge chamber now if you don't know my first wig is RPG shows like sister company so you may see some of the similar products this is more of the we're taking it from beginner to like i'm not new to this i am true to this okay and then of course you guys we have the wig here bring me out the plastic i've been feeling brand new okay <laughs> here is the actual unit of course i'm just gonna go ahead and pop that to the side and then of course this is one of my favorite wig conditioners you guys i wish that they sold this in an actual bottle i don't know if you guys have been watching me for a while but this on your natural hair with the burriti oil Burriti oil yes deep conditioner amazing so i'm gonna go ahead and just tuck that away so i can get to it another time and then of course we have a wig band which obviously says RPG show established in 2006 which is like wow okay um, you also get all of the details are gonna let you know what wig you got so this is a silky texture 14 inch this is a 13 by 6 glueless lace front and of course there is a little bit of color in here we got the transparent tinted Swiss lace in the color light brown and this is cap size one so um, of course all the details will be listed down in my description box along with any coupon codes and all that good stuff i even love that they you know let you know who is the ceo and also all of the ways to follow them and all that good stuff so definitely make sure to tag them if you do decide to get this as well just to get a little free promo okay and then of course they gave me a wig cap which y'all can see I already have one on and last but definitely not least oh actually we got two goodies so there is also a travel bag which i love because if you are like me and want to switch up your look this bag is going to come in handy even if you don't use it for this wig all of your wigs can fit in here put this in your suitcase boom you are good and then of course you guys know they typically have a magazine all right so as you guys can see i already have my wig cap on this is nothing special i did go ahead and use a little bit of edge control just to pull back my edges because it's really time to redo my braids and all that good stuff but hey we are here now now if you don't know i am a huge fan of the true scalp tape which this is not what this video is about but it does make it super easy for you to be able to install your wigs without having to do too too much got all my supplies all the things y'all don't even want to know what this bathroom counter looks like it's not important here is the actual unit now of course this is a 14 inch so it should be giving the vibes okay i'm gonna go ahead and just remove this you guys can see there's already some color RPG show okay is nothing to play with when it comes to color and all of the good stuff so I already know what to expect of course the knots do already come pre-bleached pre-plugged all that we should have to do is put this baby on and go now something that y'all always say is Chrissy my wig did not come like yours listen I am doing a start to finish styling video most of the time your wig is gonna look something like this or it may look even a little bit more crazier than this. You guys, I promise you, promise you, promise you, whenever you curl hair, and I've had the same issue when I was selling custom wigs as well, I will curl style to the gods, send you a picture of what the wig looks like. This is why I stopped selling them because it's just like so much confusion around what the expectation is. Y'all, you can curl it the moment you fold it in half, put the mesh over it, put it in the plastic wrap, put it into the box, it's sitting there. Now the hair is actually being remolded. So I want you guys to just keep that in mind. Give these companies some slack, okay? Definitely make sure that you are getting what you ask for in terms of length, color, texture, make sure the hair is not shedding, all that type of stuff. I feel like I've been talking for so long let me put this wig on because this is about to be a rant okay 
And I can already see that this unit has like a ton of layers in it. Look at that. This is gonna be cute. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and take some True Scott tape. Obviously, if you don't know what that is, go through the playlist. I'm gonna go ahead and just throw some of that on. What this is gonna do is just kinda help with the blending. So I know that this is a middle part. I'm literally just gonna lay that right down the center of my hair. Now, I do need to kinda cut this. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda cut the True Scalp. Cut it into a little oval shape cut that off I feel like I can really get these installs down to about five minutes gonna drop that baby right in front of the hairline luckily I have a big forehead so I have a lot of space to work with <laughs> pop it on boom now the best thing about this unit of course it can be worn gluelessly so you guys it already has an adjustable cap here you guys can just kind of adjust the tabs I'm gonna leave it exactly where it is. The only thing that I'm gonna actually adjust is the RPG shell band. So this is just an elastic band and I'm gonna put this on like the tightest one. Actually, I think I do need to kind of move this over a little bit though. Let me see. Cause sometimes my head surprises me. I have like a lot of face. I don't have like a ton of head. <laughs> oh, okay. This is why I had to stop doing talk throughs because baby, I talk too much, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and flip the cap out and then just put the unit on. I feel like I'm really stepping into auntie season with these shorter units, but I'm cool with it. Mm -hmm. Look at the layers. Oh, I love layers. I know right now y'all are like Chrissy, what? Okay, I just because I do hair, I can always see where we're going, okay? <laughs> you gotta have a vision, all right? I gotta have a vision and direction. So now if you are one of those people that are not happy with like more of that natural looking hairline, you could absolutely go ahead and pluck this out even more. Um, I'm not going to do that because I'm wearing it in a middle part. So we're going to focus on that middle part and getting the hair to do what I want it to do. Now it does look like it's already cut. Let me see. Gonna want to make sure. I do see like a little long piece right here. I think that just kind of came from trimming off the sides. And I'm gonna go ahead and pin this back. Y'all, this cap is tight, okay? So I don't have to actually do much to it. What I am gonna do is take a little bit of uh, the Bronner Brothers Pump It Up, you guessed it, we do it all the time, and just tack the wig down here on the sides. I don't know if you guys can tell just how snug the unit is. Look at that. Oh, it's fitting. Sides. So because I want everything to continue to look as natural as possible, I'm just gonna pull this a little forward. So I'm not gonna lay this down to where the hairspray actually lays down the hair. I wanna keep everything as natural as possible. So just go ahead and trim off that extra lace. I got hair in my mouth. Transparent lace, look at that. Just so y'all know, we not playing, no games. No glue, nothing, nothing. The whole way around. I almost stabbed myself in the neck. So when you're asking about the flaps, just know it depends on the company and the cut of the wig. The flaps are down. There's nothing more that we need to do, but just in case you wanna feel a little bit more secure, okay, secure, go ahead and take a little bit of the pump it up. I'm just literally spraying a little bit of pump it up. Right here, right here.
use it to get rid of some flyaways and just hit it with a blow dryer. And look at that. It's giving scalp, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. First of all, let's just talk about this color. The greatest thing about buying units that already have a little bit of color to them is that whenever you decide you wanna bump it up, take it down a notch, you can always do that. I could actually envision some additional highlights in this area. All right, so I'm gonna take this down. I'm going to quickly put up a photo of exactly what the unit looked like before and then what it's going to look like when I install it. So it looks like what they did is just like a nice soft wave. So what I want to do is go ahead and just define the part. So I can already see that I have a middle part going on. So I'm just going to go ahead and track that baby up. Just like that. And look at how much parting space we have. So what you want to do, don't overwhelm yourself, do one side at a time. I'm going to go ahead and just clip this part back. And so far we have no product on it. I'm going to go ahead and just hit it with the hot comb as y'all can see, just to help lay everything down. And this is with no product. If it's hot, it should do what it needs to do. Um, I know that you see people use like all types of sprays. I even do it. Sometimes I'll use mousse. But technically, if it's hot enough, it should go in the direction you need it to go. If you need something to just kind of hold it into place, absolutely grab like a wax stick or, but keep in mind that wax stick is gonna add volume, weight, and heaviness to the actual look of everything. So get you maybe even a light holding spray, but with the holding spray, sometimes it will turn a little casty white. So you just wanna kind of be mindful. That's why I prefer to wash my units I'm only doing it this way just so that you guys can see it start to finish. But for the most part, I prefer to go ahead and just wash my units, allow them to air dry and style them into place. Or I'll use some type of mousse just to kind of go through area by area because you see there's just natural lifts. So if you really want this to be flat, you'll have to kind of just make that little extra commitment to doing a little extra work. And if you need help with that, I have plenty of videos showing you how I lay everything down. You'll just kind of want to go through the playlist. This color is so pretty. Look at this. And I don't see any areas of like blotchiness or anything. Like it was definitely well done, which is like expected. It's RPG show. Think about it like this. You wouldn't hot comb your hair with a bunch of oil buildup and all that stuff. Like you're literally going to burn the hair down. <laughs> which I know is a wig, so people are like, oh, I don't care, but if you really want it to last, you have to take care of your units. Treat them like your natural hair. Obviously, if I could flat iron my hair like this, I definitely would, but y'all know, me and heat damage, okay? It, it's just, it comes so quick. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go through section by section. So far, so good. So right now what we're working on is natural volume. You want to go ahead and lay everything down, but it will still kind of have a little pop back. So it won't be super flat. I know y'all love the Chrissy. We want the super sleek wig y'all. It can be sleek without being flat. And you know, y'all know, y'all know. <laughs> I like this little hump situation here. So I almost don't even want to disturb it cause I'm going to want one in a second. So I'm going to go, <laughs> I'm going to want this like, volume here in a minute so I'm not gonna mess with it uh, in the front like to lay it super flat or anything like that I'm gonna go ahead and actually just hit the back area now it is imperative that your braids are as flat as you can get them which mine actually aren't to be honest it's already getting cuter. Like, if you don't see the vision now, this is not the place for you. And you guys can see, I'm not just combing through, I'm actually putting the flat comb, the flat comb, <laughs> I'm putting the hot comb down. So you guys can see I lay it down and then I use the back of it to pretty much lay everything flat. So I use that as like the flat comb or the hot comb. 
hot comb to go through the hair, backside as a flat iron. That's what I'm trying to say. Flat iron. Use the hot comb as a flat iron. And we still got that little bit of uh, right there. Now we want to make sure that this part, you know, everything stays where it needs to stay. I'll use hair, hairspray at the end just to kind of polish it up. Right now, keep, stay focused. Stay focused. Now we are nice and flat. So we have a natural flat volume. Everything looks nice, soft, effortless. People will be like, girl, did you cut your hair? Okay. No. Okay, I didn't. This is a wig, but... You guys can already see what it is that I'm talking about. Just look at this side versus the other side. I'm actually going to show you what it'll look like on both sides before we curl it up. If you wanted to just keep it natural. But you guys see what I'm talking about. This one. This side. Versus this side. We just want to match that out. Oh, so pretty. Cannot wait to curl the bottom of this. Come on hair, I need you to reach this length, okay? That's all I'm asking. Can I get a 14 inch for one time in my life before I get too old, okay? That's my goal, journey to 14 inches. <laughs> Something else that I learned about using the hot comb, you guys, this is literally just like mesh lace, okay? And then of course you have your wig cap on and your hair is directly underneath there. The reason that I think I have a little bit more heat damage at the top is because of the hot comb. So this is another reason why you should wash your wigs, preset them, pre-style them, so they are already nice and flat so that you don't have to go through that process because I 10 out of 10 out of 10 believe that that is causing additional heat damage. I mean, I'm putting the heat directly on my head and my braids are right there. Like, who are we kidding? Oh. Baby, we got styles, okay? We have options. You could totally do a little pin up. Oh yeah, this is cute. They've already cut it for you. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and just pin this up. I'm gonna do half and half because I'm gonna focus on just the bottom half. Boom, boom, boom. All right, so this is what the length is looking like. I don't have a mirror to like check behind me so I'm just hoping for the best I, I just know it's cute I can just feel it and I'm also just confident in my abilities because I I, I don't know I'll be doing my thing okay now because what I want to create is just like a soft wave I can see y'all know typically I like for my ends to be absolutely perfectly straight so I'm going to comb this out and I can see that there's layers so obviously they did not do like a blunt cut they wanted everything to be nice and free flowing I'm not really that vibe I do like a little bit more structure so I am going to go ahead and just trim the very ends just a little bit. Nothing crazy. Literally, just the ends. All right. We good. Now, we're just going to go ahead and get the unit back to what it was originally looking like when they styled it on the mannequin. Um, and so it looks like there's just some nice soft curls. This is not overly done. I'm going to show you on this first curl just how easy it is to just kind of curl with a flat iron. You don't have to do the most. Now keep in mind, the curls will drop. What I'm gonna do is actually curl it a little tiny bit uh, tighter than what the model is actually showing just for the sake of knowing that the curls are gonna kinda drop. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda curl away from my face. And I'm gonna do it at more of a vertical angle because I'm not necessarily looking for like a super tight curl as I am looking for more of like a kind of wave look so you guys can see how that is I neglected the bottom end so you definitely want to make sure that you curl all the way down root to tip drop it boom this is the curl we're looking for it doesn't need to be a super tight ringlet we just want something that's gonna give a little bit of volume a little bit of a curl to kind of help frame the face so I'm gonna go ahead and just split this into two and do the same thing 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit this with some frizzies, which I'm actually running out now at this point. So yeah, just gonna hit it. Ooh, I'm sticky. <laughs> All right, so just let that dry the way it needs to. And then of course, we're gonna go ahead and work on the top section. So. Don't worry about any frizz. We'll worry about all that later. And y'all, I felt to tell y'all how soft this hair is, but I just felt like y'all would be able to tell from just the way that I was able to maneuver through everything. So we're gonna keep our little, a little antennas right here on the side out. And then we're just gonna break this up. Now, when it comes to the actual front part, you want to make sure that you kind of curl this away from your face, but we're also going to create a little bit of a bump here in the front, but you don't want to overkill. So first things first, go ahead and begin to curl upward. Just like that. And then of course, for the front, I'm going to go ahead and take the flat irons and let me show you. Just trying to make sure I don't have no it's like these little random hairs and just a little bump, just like that. A little bump, just like that. You literally create the bump, okay? <laughs> I know it looks crazy now, but you guys, this is the base. The base. Flip it off forward. the base <laughs> this is before the comb out this is before any of the extras i'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of hairspray a little bit a lot rub it in smooth it across the tops i have not used any type of oil wax stick nothing literally hot comb a little bit of hairspray just to help hold everything in place this it this all all right First of all, this is pretty, just as it is. If you're one of those people that want the curls that look like the curl, baby, we're here. But I'm not, so this is where you're gonna wanna get yourself a wide tooth comb. For the comb out, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and do that, but let me touch up my makeup real quick, cause I feel like this is gonna be cute. I don't know who convinced y'all that Fenty was the best gloss. Y'all, this spills out every single time every single time like and i love bad girl riri but like the beauty products they just don't do it for me all right so i'm gonna go ahead and just comb this out i can just feel the volume i don't know about y'all but the volume is voluming Now, this is just on a comb out. If you guys want to do more of a uniform look, we're gonna wanna make sure that we take a paddle brush. I'm just showing y'all the differences so y'all can kind of understand. recurl some things don't feel weird about it I know that because I chop up the video y'all are like Chrissy you is bomb okay please believe sometimes I have to curl things 16 times okay don't don't ever get it twisted I am not perfect but these curls are <laughs> Now keep in mind, I told you guys, we are going to overcurl just a little bit. 
bit because we want to make sure that when it drops it's giving more of that wave like the mannequin had so if you guys feel like you want that instantaneous look then you are definitely going to want to make sure that you use a two inch curling rod just to go ahead and just kind of curl the way oh the <laughs> curl away just to make sure that you can kind of curl the hair away from your face and you should be good but so far i'm loving this super cute it just looks like i probably use like flexi rods or something to get the look This is for y'all that's wondering what it'll look like if I relax it a little bit. So let me show you. <laughs> Go through, comb, comb. This is to drag all the curls just down at the bottom to not have so much volume. Go ahead and give it more of that sleek look so that it's not so voluminous you guys can see on this side it is a little bit more body yaddy yaddy and this side is a little bit more okay i'm cute i'm ready for dinner or the things so i love that volume relax same curl technique all that it is is a matter of using a paddle brush using a wide tooth comb or deciding to use a finer tooth comb or brush just to relax everything out or to really bump up the curls that you guys already have. And that's the blessing in layers. Oh, this is so cute. All right, I have the bad habit of finding the perfect like way to place the curls and then I completely destroy it. You probably have seen that already. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm loving the way that this is kind of like transformed into more of like a loose wave situation. So I'm going with that. This is the look. RPG show is known for giving you that elegant, classy, mature. Okay, I'm not new to this. True to this look, 10 out of 10, I recommend. <laughs> I like it. A lot of volume, a lot of body, a lot of curls, a lot of color, highlights. So definitely let me know what you guys think about it. I love you guys so much. Stay pretty. And of course, I will see you in my next video. Bye, babies.